This week we're doing a boat based trip along the Katmai coast in Alaska. Our plan is to film brown bears in a lot of the bays that are along the park's edge. There's about 2,000 brown bears in this park, which is about 4.5 million acres. It's going to be really cool to see all the different bears and see all the different habitats and hopefully get all kinds of different weather. Right now we're in Hello Bay where I spent over 35 days camping this year working on a film project. But now we're down here on a boat based photo trip and we're running along the Katmai coast looking for brown bears. There's about 2,000 brown bears that live along this coast and we're going to be cruising into some of these bays and trying to film the bears fishing. It's time for them to put on the pounds and this is the place to do it. We've had so many cool experiences out here. We've seen so many bears. We've been into so many bays, more than we've ever done before. So I'm excited to share with you guys all the footage that we were able to get. Our first day was pretty much a washout. Everybody was excited to get out, so we did go. And people did get some images. The coolest thing we saw is a sow with four cubs. We're currently at our second location of the trip, which is super cool to be on a boat because that just gives you the ability to move up and down the coast and find these bays where the fish are running and the bears are. This spot, uh, it's low tide right now. We can see fish in the river. There aren't that many bears out, but as the tide starts coming in, the bears should start coming out as the fish push in. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get some cool bear fishing action. We've already seen one boar and a sow with two cubs. But last year when we were here, we probably saw, I don't know, 10, 12 different bears. So hopefully it gets pretty good. Yeah, where she at? Because she was, cause, well, she yeah. got the cub back there, and I'm looking at her, and she's looking at me, and yeah. I'm just like, okay, this is be cool. Yeah, yeah but let the cub do its thing. And, and. Had some pretty good luck in there. There were quite a few bears. Again, it's a tide dependent thing. We went in at high tide, and we hiked up, and you basically can follow the falling tide, and as the fish are more exposed, the bears start fishing. Just a good chance to get close to some bears. So it's the start of day three and we woke up this morning at a little breakfast and now we're out in the Zodiacs just cruising around the bay that we uh, parked in overnight. We have to wait for high tide to get up into the good bear area and everybody's out doing some macro photography and some tracks and that sort of thing. It's like it went off into the sunset. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the actual entry into this one on a Zodiac is so beautiful. We actually had a float plane follow us up because they were trying to get their clients a little bit closer so they didn't have to walk as far. We were able to go quite a ways up there because we were in Zodiacs. But the, uh, the float plane kind of followed the Zodiacs, which was kind of interesting. And, just typical Alaska.
day four and it's a blowing and a going out here. It's an amazing weather day. It's probably 40 to 50, 60 knot winds. We are currently moving the boat to a better place that has us out of the wind. If we can find that, we'll just sit for the rest of the day. Everybody's gonna work on their computers, look at what they've got so far, and then from that, determine what they wanna come up with with this new place. This new place is pretty dang cool. Last night from the bridge, I counted 26 bears with my binoculars, which is amazing. There's quite a few moms with cubs, and then there's a couple of really big males, which we've not seen yet on the trip. When you get to see a thousand pound bear, it's pretty amazing. I hope I'm gonna be able to shoot some of this nasty weather. It's, it's amazing. Waterfalls that were falling off and the wind was just blowing the water back up. Totally unreal. Being on a boat, being on the water, having these winds, being very, very safe about it, it's cool to experience. You often wonder, what are these bears going through? But you know, it's just another day in paradise for those guys. So this is my attempt to show you guys what it's like on an extreme weather day. It's crazy out here. It's hard to get in a place where I can actually show you some footage without getting the lens all full of water. But check this out. I'm gonna do a little walkthrough around the front of the boat. So there's actually four other boats out here with us, uh, all anchored up trying to stay safe in the storm. It's just a matter of putting the anchor down in somewhere that kind of protects you from the wind and waiting it out. So that's the plan. I've been moving around the boat trying to get different shots of the weather. It's super difficult. It's hard to keep water off the lens to show you what's going on. I found a place on the back of the boat. It's kind of noisy because we've got the diesel generator running, but it's the only place that I can keep water from hitting the lens, but hopefully behind me you can see what's going on. It's just extreme wind and extreme rain, and it's just non-stop, and it's predicted to go on throughout the night. And so it's created a weather day for us today. Basically, everybody's on the boat. It is kind of cool to see an extreme weather day in Alaska. It's just another thing to experience. I thought it would take a quick second to show you a part of the boat. Everybody's upstairs eating, so this bottom floor is empty right now. What we have down here are two rooms, two people per room. We only use the bottom bunks. There's four bunks in each room, but you have a top bunk and a bottom bunk. The top bunk we can use for storing gear and, and clothing and that sort of thing. Just down the way here, we have a bathroom, shower, toilet, and a sink. The other side has got a laundry. If we come in and we're super soaked, we can throw coats and that sort of thing in the dryer and get them dried out very quick. And then this big room that's behind me it's a place where you come in and take off your waders after a day of shooting. It gives us a chance to have a little bit of room out of the weather, get stuff dried out and ready to go for the next day. Super comfortable boat. I'd take a second and show you the upper deck where the kitchen and a couple of rooms and a bathroom and the bridge is at. We won't go up in the bridge because they're driving right now and uh, I just don't need to bother those guys at the moment. But as for the kitchen, it's really well equipped. We've got a couple of rooms up here and then there's a bathroom. So we've got seating for everybody for dinner. And then as you can see over here, we got a really well equipped kitchen. stove, microwave, coffee maker, everything you need for a really comfortable trip. This boat is the best. I 
do have some shots from the bridge as we were going into some of our other locations. I'll throw those in now so you just get an idea of what the bridge looks like. Super efficient boat, super comfortable boat. It's a great way to travel. Yesterday ended up being pretty epic. We had a storm day on day four. We were just holed up on the boat all day. It cleared. The wind didn't completely stop, but that was good. It kept the bugs down. We had a lot of sun and we got out twice. We went out in the morning at low tide got lots of bears moving around i mean we counted 26 bears out in this location and then we went back to the boat at high tide got some lunch headed back out and at that point we were able to pretty much hang out with a mama and a little cub it was interesting to see the dynamics you see the love you see the attention she was constantly fishing but she also was able to play with mama a little bit and it was just a, a cute little experience so I was able to get quite a bit of footage of that and I'll show you that now. You know, these cubs are so curious and interested in what's going on, but they're also small enough that they need to be safe. So there was a lot of nuzzling up of the little one on the mama, or even crawling underneath her belly, just to stay close, but do investigating along the river's edge. Super cool stuff. Today we're at a super cool location that is really tight. It's really buggy, that's why I got my head net on, but it's a probably a 200 yard stretch, lots of fish in the river, and lots of bears fishing. Right now everybody's kind of holed up and they must be up in the tree sleeping. Actually, I can see three that are sleeping out in the flat right now. So we're gonna give it a couple hours, see if they start coming out. But what we have in this location is a small little stream with super clear water. I shot some underwater footage last year. I'll put that in here. And then up above it, we have some falls. And what happens is these fish try to run up the river. They get caught and then these bears just kind of walk along and you, you can see them digging with their paws and they kind of reach up in there and try to do that little stretch up in there and see if they can pull the fish out. I think I've counted nine different bears in here so far. So that's really good. Actually, at the moment, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, at the moment right now so super cool spot i think i say that a lot super cool spot super interesting location how's that The other thing was, is there was a sow that showed up that had three-year-old cubs. So it was like three great big bears and they really worked well together to hunt for the salmon. A couple of them would scare the salmon out and yet another one would actually run out, but it provided all kinds of cool 
video entertainment. Those two three-year-old cubs actually got in the water and did some snorkeling and some playing and some catching of fish. That was pretty awesome video. I was super excited about that. I think we ended up getting some pretty cool footage on this trip. It's not like a regular film production that I would work on. You know, normally they'll send me to a place and I'll spend three weeks to 30 days staying in one spot, highlighting different behavior and different animals. On this trip, we just went to several different bays, basically had one day at each bay. But even doing that, there's so many bears. I was able to get some footage of cool behavior and just basically a highlight shot reel of different bears along the Katmai coast in Alaska. Some really interesting weather. We saw tons of cool landscapes. Now we're headed back to the boat and it's gonna be about a 12 hour boat ride back to Homer, Alaska.